Hi, today we're going to be installing PFSense. Um, this is an open source firewall. Their website is pfsense.org and PFSense is mainly a firewall uh, that you can use for your own home or for your work environment. And today in our, in our case, we're going to install it on Hyper-V. I'm running uh, Hyper-V server 2019. And yeah, this is a quick setup on how to do it. I've uh, gone to their official website and I'm gonna go to their download section. For our case, we're going to install it on a 64-bit system, so I'm going to select that and I'm going to select the ISO. On your case, select the closest mirror to you, so it's, uh, it's downloading at a faster rate. I've already done that on my site um, since it was downloaded, it's gone into a GZ file. I've used WinRAR to, to extract it into a folder, which is which will then give us the ISO file that we can load up on Hyper-V. Now, I'm going to set up the virtual machine for our PFSense instance. Just going to name it PFSense and I'm going to leave everything as default. I'm going for generation two. I'm gonna leave it with one gigs of RAM. I'm going to connect the uh, network card of the virtual machine to the virtual switch that I already have. I'm going to assign it 60 gigs. This can change depending on your uh, scenario. I'm going to select the image that I have just downloaded and I'm going to hit finish. Now we cannot boot into this um, uh, box straight away. First of all, we need to remove the secure boot and I'm also going to add a secondary NIC card. Um, uh, this is not technically required because you can still run off uh, the same NIC card, uh, but I'd like, in my case, I'd like to split them in two. So I'll have one dedicated NIC card for the WAN and one dedicated NIC card for the LAN. For my WAN interface, um, I've selected the, the VLAN ID, which is going to be 11 in my case. Uh, on your case, it might uh, not be required. Um, it depends on the type of configuration you have for your internet. It might be PPPoE, it might be a static IP address. Just going to hit apply and I'm going to connect and start the virtual machine and we're going to go ahead with the installation process. Uh, this will take a few minutes or seconds depending on your, uh, on your hardware. So I'm going to fast forward the video here. Once it loads, you will be shown this particular screen and you have to agree not to commercially distribute uh, the PFSense installer and so on. Um, we will obviously be installing it and I'm going to continue with the default options. I'm going with UFS as well. Once we hit uh, enter on UFS, it will initiate the installation process. So we will need to wait for it to complete. Once the screen is shown, we're going to go ahead and hit no, unless you want to do any further changes and we're going to reboot. Now, once it shows us the uh, boot screen, I'm going to switch off the VM because there are some changes that we need to do. In order for um, uh, this to work properly, we need to do some changes to the boot option. So we need to get into the settings and change the boot priority with our hard disk on top and hit apply. We're also going to, I forgot, we need to remove the DVD drive because we're not going to use it anymore. So we can remove it from there and we're going to start the instance. Since this is going to be the initial setup, we will go, we'll have to go through a few settings, like setting up VLANs. This will um, we will set up the VLANs at a later stage. For now, the scope of this video is to have it installed and brought up and running onto the virtual machine. I'm going to fast forward the video here because this might uh, take a few minutes or seconds again. So I'm going to select no for VLAN setup. I'm going to select HN0 as my WAN interface and HN1 for my LAN interface. I'm going to agree to that and we'll give it a few more seconds. All right, so we're in the welcome screen and the welcome section here. 
uh, that means basically that uh, pfsend is up and running we will uh, be doing more videos very soon with regards to how to set up port forwarding etc uh, so stay tuned for that and also with regards to vlans we will uh, we will go through that topic as well um, uh, but for now this is it thanks for watching goodbye for now